Onuya ma chi o na chese sabe de obenfo radio ye bu eke tem na ye de akọ onuya tv ye ko onuya tv so dia na chese ye ko ye nyina ye nua be ma captain smart one nom nya kwa kwa fa onuya ma chi e de abrɛ mo ene onuya ma chi so e na captain smart e frɛ the late president eh ye fifi atamels ne doba ba ko pɛ na ko fi sam atamels o frɛ no ene ne twetwe nkomo ene komo twetwe mu no ene o chere se se ye kase ye hwe emprem prem be bia gana aba bedru dia na che se dr baumia e disappointing gana for pa dr baumia ene na na adodan ko akofo adu ai che se o mu aha gana for papa o ma daada ye ni akasa e bo se o mu se ye nyina ne mu bia no o mu di so nsem o mu ka kire nyina no akwa akwa na ada asem enu mu e na o se kire mu se emprem prem emprem prem emprem prem emprem prem o pedi os oba bi di akunya no anasa aba ye kwa kwoto 2024 ya 7 december yi o pedi os e ga na fonyina to abade ma no a na eye ye wura don dramani mahama e kuma twetwe mu no o kire ne ma bebere kire se ne papa wuo na o firi mu no ana ne papa wuo no wu ye no ye na eda o papa ani so ana de ne esi na ni so so obeye edi ama oman ga na no ono de ogidi se na ohu ni se e no apepe pe e na ye wura don dramani mahama e ba beto aso Inti mprem mprem no se yeto aba de mana on mum ne betuma sa aboa amagan asafa no ntoma pa aye den efra yenko onua tv ni yenko tie eye kofi sam atamus one ye nua be ma captain smart in koma twetwe aha eye obenfo radio okay in 2 minutes that's going to be my final question to you and if you want to add anything then we can finish this interview okay. in 2 minutes convince me and the Ghanaian out there, why we should vote for Mahama? <laughs> okay. So, I strongly believe that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama currently is the right person to lead Ghana. He's done it before. He's been president. When he was president, we all saw some of the infrastructure development that he did. Now, if you look at the, um, the current manifesto that NDC has launched, which was approved by His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, you realize that he has, he has a key interest in the youth. He, he realizes that the economic hardship that we are facing today, majority, the people that face it more is the youth. So he's brought out the, the, the 24-hour economy, you know, due to the high levels of unemployment today. Now, if you want to be able to gain employment in the next administration of the NDC, He's come up with this Formula 133, meaning that there are certain or particular areas or sectors that can run 24 hours. Now, why should one person do the job and close at 5 o'clock and then the, 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 the job space becomes dormant? Someone else can go and continue to the afternoon and another person can continue to the next morning. In that way, you have actually more or less doubled the employment rate as mm -hmm. it is today. You know, when you talk about those of us or some of my, my, my brothers and sisters who were not able to, you know, get the highest level of education. He says, if you want to learn how to become an apprentice in, in, in whatever field you want to do, mm -hmm. I believe in three, they say in San Juma. Yes, so right. if you want to become an electrician, plumber, whatever you want to go, if you're a woman and you want to, you know, become a, a, a seamstress or go into hair making or whatever it is, you know, he wants to, you know, employ and, 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 and train you and then after training you, he would help you set up by giving you a facility to set up your own practice so that you can also work and earn money. You know, and that is how the economy is able to grow. The private sector is supposed to grow the economy. So by creating these enabling environments, it's going to help the private sector to grow the economy. You know, um, if you look at the, 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 the agro industry, food, you know, insufficient food is a national security issue. He says that when he comes, he wants to reinforce the agro industry. Farmers will get farm machineries at their district assemblies. Mm -hmm. Those times during John Muhammad's administration, we used to give the farmers fertilizer, the fisher folks, we used to give them premix. Today, they have to buy it at a very high cost, you see? And he's saying that, you know, when he comes back, when he talks about reset, we are going back to meet these, you know, um, subsidies that he was given to, 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 to the agro industries. You know, instead of buying fertilizer, he'll give it to you for free. When you go to your, your when, you, when it's time for harvest, when you go to a district assembly, they will have harvest machines that you can use. 
when you when you harvest and you make a bit of money, you go and pay them because that's the same money that they would use to maintain the machines for your next harvest. Mm -hmm. Here, sector by sector, he has made sure that he has addressed all the issues. Fortunately for me, I was able to follow him through his primaries when he was going round to ask the 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 the, 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 the we went round in in, in in all the regions to ask the people what can we do to help your situation? What do you need? And we tailored our manifesto to meet the needs of the people that we want, the, the, the people, what the people want. You see, so for me, I believe that we have a comprehensive plan as a party, our leader as President Mahama, to be able to execute, to liberate Ghanaians from the hardship and the, the, the economic difficulties that we're going through now. So for me, if you ask him, Vote for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama come this December 7th. Um, just look for the umbrella and give us the opportunity to come and, you know, you know, implement some of these amazing and exciting policies that we have in place for the, the people of Ghana. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much, Kofi Sam. Thank you so Mills. much. Samir Abamir described Prof, uh, President Mahama as incompetent. Do you remember that? We do. I do remember it. A word to describe Baumia. <laughs> wow, Captain Sir, you want to cause problem for me? <laughs> Honestly, extremely disappointing. Mm. Extremely, extremely disappointing. Disappointing. I mean, that's 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 the best word I can use, and that's me even being very, you know, charitable, charitable about my choice of words. Extremely disappointing, because if you listen to you know, the things that he propagated, even against the late um, uh, Vice President Misata, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and what's happening today, you would think that is there, it, it's a different person or it's like a twin brother of his, or, you know, <laughs> they have mutated him into, you know, someone else has come to, mm -hmm. you know, he, I mean, they, they, they called him the economic wigs kid. He's, his wife called him the economic wigs kid. Today we are suffering. Today we don't have money. Today the economy is in shambles. So where's the wigs kidness of this, you know? Mm. So it's, it's disappointing. It's extremely disappointing. I would have been happy if they came in and did well. We would have all said that, hey, chief. You've done well. You know. You teach him out. You teach him out. But it, it's a shame. It's a complete shame. Now, I want to ask one question with three departments. Wow. Okay. Are you following Mahama? Are you campaigning for him? One, because when your dad passed away, he and his wife took you as a son. That's number one. Two, are you following him because he was a running mate to your father who eventually became <coughs> the, 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 the president the, the vice president and president after your dad passed on. Or you think you have seen something extraordinary that he would be able to achieve if he's given the nod? Okay, so um, again, my father took President John Dramani Mahama as his running mate. Mm -hmm. Again, like I told you, I'm the biggest fan of my father. I believe my father was the most intelligent human being on this planet. Mm -hmm. That is my personal opinion. And our early you are entitled to that. that. Exactly. And in his right mind, he d believed that His Excellency John Dramani Mahama is the best person to work with and assist him to achieve the goals that he had and he had set for Ghana. Mm. Even after President Mills passed away, his Excellency John Dramani Mahama, because they worked together and they had a plan, followed the plan through. Now, if you look at the gains President Mahama made, it was all part of the greater plan that they put together, mm -hmm. and President Mahama did not veer away from it. He made sure that he continued as president and made sure that he achieved it, whether it was in the education sector, whether mm -hmm. it was in the health sector, whether it's in the road sector, any sector that you want to talk about. President Mahama made ex extraordinary gains, you know, through it. And it was through the mentoring and the opportunity he had to be with his former boss, President Mills, to be able to get to that point. 
And for me, I believe that President Mahama, at this current juncture we are as a country, mm -hmm. is the right person to come and continue that. Look, even when you talk about health sector, mm -hmm. during President Mahama's time, we built 1,600 chip companies within, within four years. How many of Agenda 111 has been, has been integrated? And that's 111. But President Mahama achieved 1,600 in four years. So why, 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 why wouldn't we go back to such a person who, can, who has proven that he can deliver? And that's, that's why when the NDC as a party chooses that this is the person that we want to lead us, the party has thought through it and believed. Look at the margin that he won by. Because the party believed that he is the right person. Because he had the right direction. And we know where we're going. And for me, look, the NDC made President Mills. If... If it wasn't for NDC, President Mills would not become president. They decided that they will, you know, mm. give him the opportunity to come and lead them. Oh, okay. You know, so for me, I owe everything to the NDC. And unfortunately for everybody else, I believe in the presence of the NDC. So regardless, that's where I'm at. And you think Mahama is the right person? A hundred percent, without a shadow of a doubt. You think that he would do a good work? I think... When we give him the opportunity and he becomes president, Ghanaians will regret voting him out in 2016 or and not bringing him back in 2020. And you think that he will be able to reset and change lives? I've read the manifesto from A to Z and even the appendices. President Mahama will deliver everything that we have said we will do. You believe he can manage the economy better than any of the contenders? He would even manage it better than the, what do they call them? The, 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 I think they, they call them what? The, the solid team. He, he single-handedly will do it better than the solid team. The solid team, you mean the current MPP economic management well, team? Well, those called the solid team. <laughs> President Mahama will manage the economy better than them.